June 29th, 2014, around 3 p.m. Shots ring out in South Knoxville. Police respond to Sims Road and Cook Drive around 3.30 and find a taxi crashed into a fire hydrant. The man inside clings to life after being shot multiple times. He will be transported to the University of Tennessee Medical Center where he'll pass away a short time later. The shooting took place in broad daylight and the investigation yielded many clues, yet the case remains unsolved. Those responsible for the senseless murder may still be walking the streets of Knoxville. This video will detail the 2014 unsolved murder of Paul Shepard. Paul Shepard was born on June the 23rd of 1974 in Hammond, Indiana. The Army veteran and Mason would eventually make his way to Knoxville where he put together a family and found scores of friends. By all accounts, he was a very generous, hardworking man. He served as an adult leader for a local Boy Scout troop and spent time volunteering for the Humane Society. In June of 2014, Paul and his family had hit a rough patch, but things were just starting to turn around. After searching for a job for two weeks, he finally found an opportunity with absolutely taxi and transportation. Shepard hoped that he would be able to save enough money to move his family out of his mother's house and into a rental home. His family was worried about his safety. As a young military policeman stationed in Hawaii, Paul was shot during a confrontation with a suspect. His family was concerned that something like that could happen again here in Knoxville so they pleaded with him to carry a gun. Paul had worked as a cab driver once before, and he never once had any trouble, so he saw no reason to carry. Unfortunately, his family's worries would be justified. On Sunday, June the 29th of 2014, 40-year-old Paul Shepard left home early in the morning making sure he did not wake his loved ones. That afternoon, he found himself in the Fort Sanders area of Knoxville. He would be flagged down by two people outside CSL Plasma at 1616 Grand Avenue. Paul texted the dispatcher to let them know that he was picking up his second fare for the day but he did not give them a destination. Paul would drive 10 minutes south toward the Montgomery Village apartment complex. The taxi turned onto Sims Road and continued onward. In the blink of an eye, gunshots rang out. Paul was hit several times. He lost control of the vehicle and slammed it to a fire hydrant. Paul Shepard was shot around 3 p.m. on June the 29th. It was only his second day on the job. After being transported to the UT Medical Center, he would pass away a short time later. Police would respond to the scene around 3.30 p.m. Once there, investigators discovered broken glass and empty cartridges littering the road. 
eyewitnesses saw two men running from the scene. One suspect was described as being a black male standing 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighing 170 pounds. The second suspect was described as 5 feet 8 inches tall weighing 160 pounds. Both men had short black hair and both were clean shaven. An estimated age for the suspects was not provided. Police would make little progress and the case would go cold. In 2016, investigators revisited the case and spoke with several people about the shooting. Now, authorities suspect that the motive was robbery and they believe that there's a possibility the suspects lived in the area. To date, no one has been charged in the murder of Paul Shepard. Investigator Jeff Day with the KPD Homicide Unit believes that one thing could solve the murder and that is people coming forward and talking. There is someone out there with information and that information could help bring justice for Paul Shepard. <laughs>